now, this is a singles match set for one fall. It is a group stage match in Australia's longest running wrestling tournament, the EPW Invitational. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Papa Jim and Stephen North, weighing in at 225 pounds, representing Dos Itzwa, this is Chadwick Jackson. trying to steal things and I thought my water was going to get got but uh, luckily uh, Papa Germ allowed me to keep my water. He doesn't have his red shoes on so maybe it's not stealing season when you don't have your red shoes on. And now introducing his opponent. At 170 pounds he is the master of the Macedonian chicken wing. giving me nightmares? Yes. This is one of them. Yeah, it's different. This is one I would go home, drive home, get into bed, put my PJs on and I can still hear the... Just get in there, the old earworm. Chadwick Jackson, he's digging it up. At least someone has to. Norshay on the outside, he's digging it too. Oh. I mean, this is an invitation to a match. I'm sorry, my, my, my head is swimming out what we just saw in the Yeah, boy, oh boy. Not just what we saw, but what we heard. Oh, oh, oh buddy. Hell or high water shaking, shaping up to be an incredible show. We will see some more invitational tournament matchups at Hell or High Water. Great George will be in action. But tonight he goes one on one with Chadwick Jackson, who gives him a golf clap for his uh, road walk there. Both men with one point apiece, I believe, at the moment. So both men down the bottom of their respective uh, tables, so let's hope one of them at least is going to climb that ladder tonight and get one step closer to claiming the Invitational Tournament Cup. Crowd calling for the chicken wing before the match even starts. we got our referee Matthew Clark keeping a keen eye on this action when it begins. So it has our cup hitting the great George through the ring as well. So the, the House of Free Spirits versus Dos Eats. Well, did I say it right? I It's just been so action packed. I don't even saw it, my brain's kind of mush, but when these guys get the ring together. He's going to the chicken wing already. Oh, this could be it. Two points in the bag for Greg George. Chadwick Jackson able to walk himself to the ropes. And unlike the pen, you can break, break his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rope break to your heart's content. There is a time limit. Yeah. Ten minutes. Thanks for reminding me. Down to 30 seconds done already. Great George going for a German yeah. suplex, but not getting very far. Now, Chadwick Jackson has been leaning down as such, but you can see a bit of bicep development growing that strength. And the great George unable to get Chadwick Jackson off his feet. Chadwick tries to cut through the feet of great George. George over, nice back elbow there. Chadwick Jackson still checking if all three teeth that he had are left. Great George dodges out the way, trying to roll it. Chadwick Jackson. Great George Haley from the 606 one off Balder. Now it's my own heart. Chadwick Jackson. Just, just not. Speaking of people without no teeth, eh? Or Dalga and Miracle Cup. Here comes a great George. Great George had it scouted. It's a going over, no. What? Partial sunset flip. What in the blue hell is this? It's something. That's the weirdest backpack I've ever seen. Chuck Jackson. Does he not know where he is? I don't think he does. I mean, 
mean, he doesn't know where he is, so he doesn't know where he is, right? Chadwick doesn't know where Chadwick is, he doesn't know where Chadwick is. I mean, right now, Great George is a foreign object on Chadwick Jackson's back, and we're down to eight minutes. Oh, here you go, the sunset, sunset flip is, is complete, kind of. Professional wrestling is a very old sport. We've never seen a sunset flip last for 30 seconds. I think what we just saw, what we're seeing now, you, anything can happen in explosive pro wrestling. Great George. You're telling me. Great throw at all. Nice kick there from Great George. Walking the ropes. Maybe not the right time to be doing it though. Yes, Chadwick able to catch him. Has George set up. Great George able to kick out. Three minutes have expired from this matchup. Seven minutes left. Both these men need to get, get going. They are gonna run out of time. They're playing all the mind games they want, but they gotta get some points on the board. Double splash. I know he's trimmed down a bit, but there was a little bit of free will in those sections there. Fly, he flies, he flew over. Great George coming down. I, really, I could never tell you what he's doing. The man makes no sense. I mean, I know we've said this before, but when Papa Jerm is the most sensible person in your group, something's wrong. Oh, huge charging back elbow there by Chadwick, setting up for another. I wonder if he's running at 88 miles per hour. Get a good bit of the Duck Browns about it with that new haircut. So what's even Chile were doing your own? Oh, huge shoulder tackle there by Chadwick. He's got to get the cover though. Six minutes left. Stop looking at the crowd and get the pin. Use that last three brain cells you've got left to put your actions into game plan here. Oh, Jesus! Just caught him, went for a back set on and uh, just got the, the short end of it right on the back of the head of George. I was about to say, half the time when you and Joe were doing your little pump up, uh, Papa Joe was trying to send me a fake backstage. Not surprising, I'm sure he's probably got about 10 in his pocket trying to sell them to the people in the front row here. But yeah, I didn't buy one, I'd like to stress in case my mom's listening. Uh, Jamie Jackson, though, now, he's got the upper hand after landing on George's head. Top oh. row, sorry, top row? No, bottom row, but still, Great George able to move out of the way of that one successfully, moving all the way out of the way. Nice diving headbutt there, but Chadwick Jackson still on his feet. Gonna take a little bit more than that. Nice second flying headbutt there by the Great George. He's losing, using himself as a battering ram. Oh, big spin, power slam by Chadwick. Good Great I thought that was it, that was a huge Papa Germ saying three, I thought it was three. I asked the referee, man, don't talk to me. I thought it was three, that was a huge spinning power slam there by Chadwick Jackson asking the crowd, do it again. Don't ask the crowd, just bloody do it. Chadwick is a what the powerhouse. There he goes, gonna begin. Oh no! Oh, we're gonna see the Macedonian chicken wing. I think we are, Wally. He's got it locked in. Chadwick Jackson able to work his way back to the ropes again. Shoots him off. Great George into the corner. Chadwick, that's another big splash there from Chadwick to Great George in the corner, setting him up. What does Chadwick Jackson have in mind here? Sometimes likes to dish out a muscle. So that's what he's going for. If he can land this, it'll be all she wrote for sure. This is an absolute brutal maneuver. Oh, who's up? Points in the Invitational Tournament. Pulled it out, only a 
couple of minutes left in that one. So the great judge pulled it out of the back with the roll up. As you said, Chadwick Jackson setting up for that muscle buster. Would have been all she wrote. Great George had to get that roll up in. But Chadwick, I mean, in despair over there. I'm unfortunate to say, I know the tournament still has a little bit of left in it, but that might be it for Chadwick Jackson. Right down the bottom of the table, still only with one point. Where does he go from here? Great show respect there by both competitors. A show of respect from Chadwick Jackson.